Uh, Curtis, it is hot, man. Yeah. Uh, no doubt about it. A hot one out there. Warmest temperatures in a year and nine months. We are at 95 degrees in the metro right now. Southwest winds at 16, a dew point 55. Where does that stack us up for today's date? Well, we're going to move into third place with that 95 rating. Jumping ahead of 94, 1972. The record high for today, 99 degrees. Set back in 1911. Stays hot out there. 7 p.m. temperatures still at 90. Sunshine. Clear skies 10 p.m. Starting to cool off just a bit. 79 degrees. A bit more humid tomorrow as dew points inch up into the 60s. Temperature at 7 a.m. at 70 degrees. So kind of a little bit of a dip, but we'll rebound again tomorrow by noon. 86 and the 4 p.m. temperature on your Wednesday, 90 degrees. Current readings out there, 93 and 4 Dodge. Ames 95, Waterloo 94, 95, Mason City, you get the picture across the state, very hot, 98 in Sioux City, most locations reporting temperatures in the 90s. Generally sunny skies. Now we are looking to the north. There's a frontal boundary across the Dakotas. This will move into northwestern and northern Iowa later this evening, and you could see a few thunderstorms from this. So if you live up towards the Minnesota border, the chance for a couple thunderstorms along this front, it will slowly sag down to the south. You'd expect much cooler air in behind this front, but that's not going to be the case. Maybe five degrees cooler tomorrow. So we're going to stay hot out there. And actually a little more moisture in the air as those dew points climb. So here's Futurecast. Quiet out there tonight. Again, we'll be watching those storms to the north to see if they can make it down into northern Iowa. Tomorrow, mostly sunny skies once again. Then during the late afternoon, we'll start to see some storms fire along a front that parks down in southern Iowa, generally down towards the Missouri border. More widespread storms early Thursday morning as a complex moves out of Nebraska. It'll weaken a bit as it slides to the east and moves off to the northeast, then more storms as we slide into Thursday late afternoon and evening. Those should wind down early Friday morning, and then we'll just have some cloud cover lingering for the rest of the day on Friday. So those initial rainfall totals could be quite heavy, especially up towards the Minnesota border. This will be as we slide through Friday afternoon. I think some locations one to maybe three inches, near two inches Mason City and around an inch in the metro, depending on if those thunderstorms move over the, the rain gauge repeatedly or not is where you'll get the higher totals. 69 degrees, mostly clear, a few storms to the north. Southwest winds 5 to 10. Again, tomorrow a little more humid, a high of 90 degrees, mostly sunny on uh, northeast breezes. Then as we slide into Thursday, 83 degrees, a couple rounds of thunderstorms. I think those late day thunderstorms could be severe. We'll be in a risk area for severe weather. The main threat, some damaging winds and large hail as always will keep you updated. Friday, 80 degrees, best chance of rain early. Saturday, best chance of rain late. So there could be a bit of a dry period there. Then more storms Sunday and they linger into next week.